today we're going to make an upside down eggplant dish you know it's summertime and you have eggplant in your garden you don't know why you planted them your neighbors giving you eggplants your friends giving you eggplants and you don't know what to do with all these eggplants and I agree with you sometimes they actually they do have no taste but they adopt any flavor you put in them and they they have a nice meaty textures so um, you can use them in variety of dishes uh, the eggplant when you buy it has to be nice and firm and dark color that's one that has less seeds and uh, this way it's not bitter now I some people fry eggplant I don't I don't fry anything it's not healthy and it takes so much oil and then the whole house smells of fried vegetables so what I what I do I just peel them and actually uh, for this dish we're not going to peel it you can see the skin in the eggplant I just cut it uh, half an inch thick slices and then put them on a cookie sheet uh, dip my hands in olive oil and just pat them and broil it until it's nice and golden you save oil you save fat much healthier and less headache for you so that's what we did with the eggplant to make this dish just slice them lengthwise so what I did um, I took some of the slices, the one that looked like an, uh, not so perfect, and I just chopped them into small pieces because we're going to use them in the pilaf. And this is a rice pilaf, uh, so it's also a vegan, it's also a gluten-free pilaf. Uh, we have garbanzo beans in it, which make brain and uh, beans give you a good protein. So this is a really nice, well-rounded dish, and also beautiful presentation. So we start with, with sautéing. Uh, onion. In olive oil, we're going to saute one onion that chopped finely. Then we we, we saute it for about four three minutes on a small medium heat, and then we have one garlic, just to give it a nice flavor. You don't want to overpower your dish with the garlic. You can if you like garlic very much, but in general, don't make any herbs or any flavor overpower everything else. And then we're going to add diced tomatoes. Uh, if you see here, we, I, ha I have about four cups of liquid. The idea is for each cup of rice you cook, you should have two and a quarter cup of liquid. So that's why I'm cooking two cups of rice. So I'm going to add uh, two cups of diced tomato with juice and then two cups of water. Now you add your rice, saute, then covered in fat, which is, in this case is olive oil, and diced tomatoes with the liquid, add two cups of water, so we have four cups of liquid, I still need about a quarter of a cup. You add your one cup of garbanzo beans, and then we're going to add the chopped, kind of ugly looking, not so perfect eggplant slices. We want them inside to flavor the pilaf. Salt to taste, and a little bit of black pepper. You don't need to add a lot of flavor uh, herbs to this because the eggplant itself with the diced tomato and the garlic will add wonderful taste to this dish. So now we just stir it and we're going to bring it to boil and after it boils we have to cover it and then cook that on a low heat for about 15 minutes. So now the rice pilaf is cooking. While it's cooking, you, you need to make your mold. By the way, you can eat the pilaf the way it, it's going to come out. You don't have to make it, you know, make a presentation. But if you have somebody coming in, your mother-in-law, your fiance, somebody you really want to impress, do it this way. So we took some of the other eggplant slices and you just line, and don't worry about if it looks a little bit messy, that's fine, because after you put everything, it will look fine. You line your bunt, cake pan with it and 
then when the peel off is ready, we're going to spoon it inside here and pack it. And then we turn it upside down and that's where the name came from, the upside down eggplant dish. So we cook the rice, the peel off on very low heat for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you don't move it. You turn off the heat and leave it sitting for another 5 minutes. That makes the rice or the bulgur or any peel off taste better. It tastes all the flavor and it doesn't become mushy or anything. So again, this is a rice peel off. It's gluten free, it's vegan and it is delicious. So now you can eat it as is. It's very good. It has the rice, it has the beans, so it makes it a nice good protein with the vegetables. But we're going to make it fancy. So we have the bundt cake pan that lined with the eggplant. Packed our cake. You put the dish upside on top, bigger dish flat. You turn it fast upside down, and you wait a little bit because we're gonna take the form. Okay, let's hope it worked. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But it's still just even if it doesn't, it still tastes good. So don't worry about it. Let's see. Hey, it worked. So now you have your. It's kind of lopsided but still okay this is your eggplant mold and then for presentation you can toss some pine nut and just sprinkle on top of it and by the way don't put so much pine nut because pine nut I know they taste good but too many of them make you make you have a bitter taste in your mouth and the last thing you want is to have the bitter taste in your food so what you do now when, you, when you're ready to eat you just cut more pine nuts and just enjoy a lovely healthy tasty vegan and gluten-free dinner <laughs>